So as I was traveling here today uh, from, from Paris, I was thinking, what can I offer you students that will be relevant going forward? The world is changing so rapidly that what might have seemed wise only a couple of years ago now seems hopelessly out of date. So let me start by saying something rather unorthodox in the British halls of higher learning. Please don't become too specialized. Be intellectually free. Try lots of things. I know you have all come here with very specific interests, art history, philosophy, English. And I'm sure you are prepared to be the very best in your field before the ripe old age of 22. That commitment is wonderful. But please don't close your minds to other callings. I know career-wise how important it is not to be too highly specialized. These days, in the world of media, for instance, it is crucial to have multiple interests and skill sets, to have tried and possibly failed at many different undertakings. The young people we hire today at Condé Nast are fearless polymaths, hardworking and passionate, creative and curious. Everyone who works on the digital side of Condé Nast is often their own photographer, their own writer, their own editor. They're very self-sufficient. That's a terribly important message today. Be self-sufficient. People who are narrow in their thinking are quite frustrating to me. That's also a problem for many large, long-established companies. They tend to get very set in their ways. If you look at the most truly creative businesses that have come along in the last 10 years, few, if any, were incubated within existing corporate structures. They've all been startups. I'll be the first to admit that we at Condé Nast have been guilty of arrogance. We are Condé Nast. We've always done it this way. We're so busy working at being the best, being perfect, that we haven't always been open to dis disruption and new ways of thinking. And that's not good. But it's very much changing, I'm happy to say. I'm struck these days by how often people come up to me and ask to take a photograph. Instead of shaking hands, meeting one's eyes, and having an actual conversation. Even at the shows, people are so busy documenting the moment, they forget to actually look at the clothes in front of them. <coughs> Social media is great, but don't let it be a substitute for living. 